Hello and welcome back to Far Horizon 5. I'm LS Gaming and today I'll be showing you guys how to use cinematic mode in FH5. Now if you guys do want to see more videos like this, obviously make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You don't have to. But uh, with that being said, let's head right into the video. Alright, so the vehicle I'm going to be using today is the brand new Dodge Viper. Uh, the Horizon Anniversary Edition. Looks pretty nice to me. Uh, now all you have to do, the first thing you gotta check of course is to make sure you're offline. Uh, for some reason, online doesn't work. Um, it hasn't worked on any of the Horizon games, um, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and try it. So, first thing you got to do, take a car out, obviously, um, but start doing whatever you want. You can either drift, um, just drive anywhere. For me, on this clip, I'll just show you what drifting looks like. Um, yeah, just start doing whatever you want. You can't do for too long. You can probably get about 30, 45 seconds worth of um, filming in. Um, depends what you're doing. But do stupid stuff like this if you want, and then just rewind. All right, now that you've rewinded as far as you want to, you can start going into different camera angles. Obviously, you can do just the regular game cameras, but you can also do a whole bunch of different new camera angles, like pan across, side dolly, slow spin, followed, etc. You can do a whole bunch. Uh, I prefer pan across, it just looks the best. Um, make sure to hide your UI if you want to. And just start making your clip. Um, the way to make it go forward is you just hold your throttle um, so that it keeps going. And if you want to go like in slow motion, I'll call it, just try slowing down a little bit. It helps make it look like you're going slower or just do regular speed. Um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff on this. Obviously, play around with it, you'll get more used to it. But that's one of the ways you can do it. And uh, now I'll show you the second way to do it. Okay, so for the second option, it's a little bit more complex, but once you do it a couple of times, you'll be able to get used to it. So all you gotta do is stay still for about 15, 20 seconds. All right, once you've done that, start doing whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna just go drive straight just to show you guys. Get to about 100 there. All right, I'm gonna start rewinding. Now, even when your car is standing still, just make sure you keep rewinding just to include the time that you stay there, and I will show you why in just a sec. All right, so instead of using camera type, we're actually gonna be using take photo. Uh, this does sound a bit weird because usually if you just take a photo, it's a standstill picture. But in this case, all you gotta do is hold your trigger and click take photo at the same time, and you'll be able to move around with the camera. Now, not only will you be able to do that, once your car leaves, you can see here, you can use photo mode and the car will start driving by itself with the clip that you just used. Now, just real quickly, I'm gonna show you some better examples here on uh, what it looks like if you do it properly. Um, that was just an example of what I've just showed you now, but um, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, so those are the two ways you can do cinematic. I hope you guys did appreciate it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, have a good rest of your day, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>